Hello all my lovely Draco Rectors out there in YouTube land. Uh, just a quick little video for you here today. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this one out. This project was actually finished on April 4th. Well that's when all of them were done I should say. It took a couple of months for me to get them all right. Um, so here we have just a bin lid and I'm currently painting on it as you can clearly see. Uh, I've already drawn out the design and I, I did film the original drawing and the gessoing but unfortunately those files got corrupted or lost or I just can't find them anywhere so I've just decided to give you two of the four or five or whatever it was that I did and show you a bit about why I started doing this one. So backstory is is that my family own a farm and that farm is amazing it has so many animals but with each new addition of an animal it got harder and harder to tell which animal went to which kind of pallet. Now, for those few that live on the farm and know it all, great. But for people like me who would only go out and help them once a month, once every couple of months, it became more and more confusing and just too much. So me and my infinite wisdom decided to take on the task of labeling each bin. So instead of having their packets sort of sitting inside the bin that you had to move around and got sprinkled and everything like that, I thought it would be a much fun, smarter idea to put some pictures on the bin. Now these aren't my original designs, okay? I did draw inspiration or outright copy them from Google Images, so credit to whoever actually made these, you're amazing. But I, took, I, I think I put my own spin on them in my own sort of way, trying to paint them on a bin lid and whatnot. So this one that we're currently seeing is for pigs and the other one that I found the recording for was for cows. And then I did find pictures of the ends for the other ones which were camels, raptor, raptors otherwise known as chickens. So you can take a look at those at the end. So I'll let you get back to it and I hope you enjoy watching me make a fool of myself painting on top of a bin lid. And as we draw to a close in this video, I just wanted to give some helpful tips and hints to whoever out there decides to do this themselves. So the first thing I had to do was go and grab the bin lid which was being kept at the farm. I then proceeded to clean it because obviously it was not a brand new bin lid so it needed a clean. After cleaning it, I then went ahead and put gesso on it which was three layers of gesso just to make sure that all the black was in fact hidden. I then proceeded to do the farm's logo and the other art that I had chosen for each bin lid and then I put on the name of each animal as well just to be safe. 
Uh, and then normally what you would do is put on a clear layer of um, furniture or some kind of sealant. Unfortunately, I didn't have any at the time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. So I'll see you guys next time.